Well, good uh, morning in June, everybody. Definitely a nice, warm, toasty day. It's uh, sunny and 64. Whoa, is it going to be hot the next couple of days? Holy cow. Welcome. So, not much going on around here now. Uh, it's summertime now, so we'll talk to Grandma. Um, basically, what we did, we got moved up here to... Oops, around too far. Everything, except for the grapes. Grapes take a little bit longer. As you can see, the calendar here. Grapes will be ready in October. Wait, wait, sorry. September. But our canola and barley should be ready. As you can see here, it looks like canola will be ready next month. Ooh, both these should be ready uh, next month. That's wheat. Wheat. <laughs> wheat. Sorry about blue in the camera. Anything in bumper there. So, yeah. So, next month we should be able to harvest both the sweet. So, yeah. Wheat and canola will be able to harvest next week. Or next month, sorry. So, we'll get those taken care of. And then, um, yeah, then uh, talk to Grandma. She's going to meet me uh, at the sell point with those so we're gonna be well we gotta get these harvested yeah so she's gonna meet it's complicated sorry <laughs> we're talking about going back to furling furling she wants to go back and uh, finish up some things and actually give us that you know officially since we've already inherited it to some degree but she wants to officially give us the home and furling so that'll be awesome. So, but we need to go ahead and help her out with what's going on here as she's still trying to make ends meet with everything else. So, keep it in contact with her, which is cool. It's nice, but like I said, we're not. I haven't seen her physically in in a little bit here now, but so we'll we'll see though. We should be able to meet up with her and uh, find out. But nice thing about this, we'll be able to harvest both these. We could throw those into the old grain mill there and get those started up for production and then uh yeah move forward from that point and then uh with the next month or two after that we'll get the grapes done and this area this 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 area will be complete she's uh happy with what we have here but you know it's one of those we will see uh where we go from that point but as of right now we're going to go ahead and uh Move on to the next day here. Let's take a look at some contracts. There might be something we can do here. And some bailing, so we can do some bailing if we want. Too. Lots of bailing going on down there. See the tether ones are alright, but see the these ones aren't bad at all. You wrap it in silage. Once it's done, we actually get the silage. It's 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 the one of the best things I've learned too. Is if you want silage for something, if you have big fields and you can get a contract to do it, do it because the silage it turns the silage right away. So you don't need to worry about it fermenting and waiting for several months or however long it takes for years to get that point. So that's that's a pretty cool thing. That's very very cool, very cool, very very cool. <laughs> Hey, it looks like bonehead a little bit. <laughs> Sorry, buddy, if you watch this. <laughs> That's like Danny Hughes. But yeah, kind of a cobble, minus the facial hair, not as long hair. <laughs> okay, country. No. <laughs> country doesn't have that big of ears. But I, sorry, I'm just being goofy, right? I don't know why, but whatever. That definitely looks kind of like a bonehead. I mean, obviously an older version and not quite the same. Um... To prefer, <laughs> I would say Brandy, but she doesn't have blonde hair. Miss Bumpkin, kind of miss trees, maybe. Or... Yep, that's everybody. <laughs> I don't know. That was an interesting situation, right now. Y'all, we'll see you in the morning. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, tinker around the farm here a little bit. Well, actually, let's go down and take a look. Well, let me run down here. I bet the canola's bloomed. It looks beautiful from up here, but let's get a closer look and see what the yellow flowers look like. Make a purdy. I don't know why I still got the thing going. It's nothing coming out of it. Uh, let's take a look. Nope, absolutely nothing. So to turn it off. Let the fan stop. Save some, some, some energy. Oh yeah, look at that. Purdy, purdy, purdy. 
<laughs> Canola's good. We got should get a pretty darn good yield out of that bad boy. So excited about that. Ah, just want to go. Listen to the sound of music. <laughs> hey, anyway. It's fields of beautifulness. And this guy over here is the wheat that was growing. Cool, this is coming along nicely too. Good, good, good greens. Let's take a look at the uh, uh, grapes real quick here, huh? Boing, run over here. Kind of nice to be able to zip across the farm or the map like that. Not very realistic, obviously, but you know, this is what it is. So, if you remember, these were just vines. I mean, just they, you know, we get the grapes off of them and then they turned brown. We trimmed them off. Now they're green back, coming back on again because they were just the posts here. But yeah, looks like everything's perfect on there, so that'll be nice little harvest there, too. Yeah, so excited about that. Once we get these things ready, we'll be able to harvest them and go from there. So, I'm going to go ahead. I know it's early in the day, but you know what? Let's go to the next day so we can get this harvesting going. We have equipment for it. And uh, we can get it done. So, I will go ahead and go to bed here. We'll go to the next morning, and we will go ahead and... Uh, get the harvesting, so we'll see you all in the morning. Oh. Okay, looks like we're dreaming again, so... Interesting. We're December. I'm furling now. Let's take a look. Wow, look at that beautiful sky morning, early morning. Moo-moos. Girls yelling at me. <laughs> Story of my life, right? <laughs> And they're producing milk, so yay! Finally, let's go check out the chickens. Got some eggs going on there. Looks like they're good. Let's take a look at the animals while we're in this joint, huh? huh? Uh, so I don't need that anymore. Boy, all this stuff is still going, like, even though we're not over here. Started getting some milk over there, but okay, so we're over here. First things first. Let me get hope. Let me get hope a ride here. Look at that beautiful ride. Snowy day, crops are still growing, everything's still pumping away. So we just need to get hope a ride here, don't we? Just got some hay there, still cool. As you can see, animals are all good. Food's all good. Good there. Reproduced. Ooh, got some extra sheep down there. Chickens. Are good on feed. Eggs are being produced. So cool. Let's go get her. I hope you. All right, take her for a ride. And this beautiful, beautiful view. And then, uh, yeah, this is, uh, I do miss doing these rides and frilling here. But even though this is just a dream, I believe, it's pretty real feeling. I mean, you f I feel the cold. I feel the air. I feel like I'm back here in the real world. In the world of real. You know what I mean? Look at the sky. It's fantabulous. Beautiful day in the neighborhood for a ride on a horse named Hope. <laughs> so, yeah, this is uh, definitely an interesting situation we're going through here. I don't know why we keep dreaming of, I don't know, maybe because this is going to be home for us or what exactly. But, yeah, this is a nice, this is our home. This is our inheritance. But, uh, yeah, look at that. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Yeah, um, yeah, this is going to be a beautiful, it's a beautiful day. It's going to be a beautiful day. Having good dreams is always a good thing. 
yeah, um, hope it will wake up and we'll be ready to harvest on our lands of La Mancha or in Spain. Help Grandma out, get those harvests going, and then get meet her back over here, actually, at the Howl Woman, and hopefully get this uh, inheritance taken care of, and we're good to go. I believe that might be more why I've been dreaming about this here, but we'll see what's going on, and, uh, to wake up, so yeah. We'll see you in the morning, apparently. Alrighty then, so... Interesting. We had another dream about for long, apparently. It's, it's nice for taking care of the animals, but uh, we might be heading back there for real, so we need to take care of them then. But, um, yeah. Either way, whatever. <laughs> so that's interesting. I think I think more and more like we were talking about earlier is uh, Grandma wanting to get together with and actually fully. Inheriting the furling farm over to us, which would be really cool. So that'll be nice. Go back over there. We'll see what's going to happen here. I think Grandma might just take this over. I mean, this is her area. She just was looking for some assistance. We've been helping out, but she's got to get her car back, of course. Green, green. <laughs> anyway, looks like the harvest is ready. So let's get this stuff started here. Uh, grab the truck here. Yeah, so as you can see here, both the canola and the wheat are ready to go. Grapes are not ready yet, but let's take a look at those real fast, show you those as well. Now, if you remember before, we just had like a little tiny green spots on there. Now, it should be a little more. Don't have grapes on them yet, obviously, because they're not ready to harvest. But yeah, see, we only have like the one little level. Now, look at that. That is so, ooh, we got, oops, that's too low. We got, we can see the grapes there. Nice. So we're not too far off now, so that's good. Look at that. Jumped right straight to the trailer or the tractor or the harvester. Good grief, get caught. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm not sure which one first matters too much, but <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and uh, I believe we're going to go ahead and snag the wheat real quick. See if that see if that field changes its status at all because it is kind of weird why it just didn't want to work. I mean, we talked about fencing and doing all this other stuff in this area, but I don't know what we're going to do yet. We're, I don't know if Grandma wants to stay or what she's wanting to do with this farm. It's a nice area. It really is, but we will see shortly. Get this first harvest out of the way and go from there. And we'll talk to her when we go to Furlan and discuss that situation there. All right, so let's go ahead and get this baby started up here. Um, let me make sure we got the uh, straw because then we get that extra product out of it. Enable this. And away we go. <laughs> So, yep, we got the wheat coming out of here. So, wheat. Really wish we would have gotten this thing fertile. I'm not sure what happened. I did all the process, but of course, with what we're having, whatever. It is what it is. So, we'll just get this thing cleared up and move on from here. So, this would be great. But, uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and get this wheat field harvested here. Once we're done with the wheat field, we'll get the canola. We're going to dump all this into the windmill over there. And we're going to make some uh, flour from this and some, some flour from this. And we're going to make some, uh, some canola oil from the canola, some oil. So once that's all done, I think we'll... You know, take a look at possibly making some, uh, get some animals at that point. Right now, obviously, we're not going to worry about it. We, this is the first full harvest. We want to see what's going on. And of course, this is also for Grandma, so we want to make sure she's okay with whatever goes on here. But we will get this taken care of and uh, 
So I get both these fields harvested here, and I'll bring it back in a little bit. So we'll see y'all in a few. Alright, so we got these both finished up. I missed a little spot here. I was doing something. And, uh, yeah. Call that them. So cool, 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 cool. Choo. I did have a problem with this truck. It was kind of weird. It won't, once it started filling up, it didn't want to move. <laughs> it's really weird. It's super slow mo. I get that. We'll get these. We we'll got these two harvested. Obviously, I got the straw over there, so I'll pick that all up. We'll take care of that as well. Probably just sell it off as well. No need to keep it right now. So that's good. We had just a little extra wheat that went to the silo over there. So yeah. <laughs> but uh. Yeah, it's uh, my stuff is dirt high, isn't it? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Grandma would be disappointed if I brought this back to the homestead dirty like this. So let's try and fix that, huh? huh? Let's do this. Let's wash it out here in the open where the sun can dry away. And the sun dried up all the rain, and the itsy bitsy washer went back. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Got some treasure work, really nice. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's cool, so we got both fields completed. So that's nice. First harvest on those, so that's a good thing. Uh, grapes have been done as well. Oh, no. Well, first harvest that we planted, let me rephrase that, because we, when we've got in here, I like to find areas that have fields ready. That way you can jump in and grab something right off the bat so you actually get something out of it. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Let me go ahead and put this back. I will show you what I'm talking about with the other, with the truck for some reason. Let's see this cart, this thing's automatic, so that's kinda cool. It's pretty cool stuff, dude, I'm saying, I'm saying. Go ahead and park this baby back in there again. And then we start getting these fields ready for new planting. And then the next year's harvest, so... Nothing wrong with that. That's part of the farm. <laughs> like I said, we're going to meet up with Graham, Graham Emmy. So uh, let's go ahead and get this all taken care of. So now... I'm gonna get this stuff dropped. Okay, jeez Louise. Smashing against the poor building there. I don't want to knock the wall out. That would suck. Buildings are not cheap. <laughs> Alright. So, see when I hit the gas. Oh, now it's working. Go figure. I changed it to manual transmission and now it's working. <laughs> so I can shift it manual, see. And I can drop it down, go the other way. <laughs> it actually works out pretty good in manual, doesn't it? Yes, it is. I know what I mean. <laughs> but yeah, that's kind of cool. I just figured that out because it was being a pain in the butt otherwise. Um. See, now i got to figure that one out, because I'm not used to that. Um, what? Interesting. So why is that not letting me dump it now? <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, I'll be back in a minute, sorry. So yeah, apparently with all my tinkering around, I was uh, actually changed the tip side on the war tip, tip on the side, so. <laughs> so yeah, that's, uh, well that's all that'll fit in there, huh? Let's take a look here, yep, that's full, full and full. So yay, we get to go dump this over 
Let's see it change the bet out of bag and see now it's not shifting. Ha ha ha. You stinker, you little stinker. See, it wasn't shifting, but I tapped it manual, and guess what? It works, Brodsky. There we go. All right. All right, all right, all right. But, oops, wrong button, but whatever. So this one is empty. This one has very little wheat in it. I don't like that number at all, but whatever. Um, hello? Oh, this one doesn't have the motor in it, does it? Oh, okay. So let me go ahead and grab the tractor. I don't have to move this around. Or can I use the truck here? No. All right, I'm going to grab the tractor, and we'll be right back. i got to grab this in here. So, see you in a few. All right, so we're here. Sorry, I had the, I forgot I had the tractor and the litter doing something else. So I was like, oh, forgot about that. So let's do this now. Hello? Grab it. Yeah, but Alright. So we're just going to go ahead and... We don't need to mess with all that stuff. We're going to move it over to here. To this guy here. Right here. And over here. Over here. Open here. Now, technically don't need to actually open that top hatch, but... I think it's kind of cool to do it just like this, like... <laughs> and then up top there... The hatch opened. Open hatch me! <laughs> yeah, it's kind of cool. I gotta remember what I'm doing here with this manual. Cause it's not the same, but I just hit another button for it. It's actually the same one, but you have to use the adjustment. So yeah, it's fun. There we go, boink. And you can see it going in up top there. Woohoo, Nelly. Pump it away. <laughs> uh, that's cool. And there's that sweet. Oops, I forgot. I'm in. I was still in the reverse mode. See, now that I'm empty, it works fine. It's really weird. I don't. I don't get it. But whatever. Whatever. Whatever's clever, bro. <laughs> then I got the flatbed one there. So. Two truck beds, which is pretty cool. Just one of each. Don't need to keep flopping them around. Just swap them out. Yeah, it costs a little bit in the raw or up front, but it's worth it in the long run. I tell you what. All right, and I think yeah, I had this thing on. Oops, that's what I meant to do. All right, cool. So we got these fields rocking and rolling. I'm gonna get a baler, bail all that stuff up, and uh, we'll call it there. So. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, say hello. Let me know how you're doing. Let me know what's going on in your world and how your day, night, evening is going. Take care and bye-bye. Uh,